It's August 31st, 2020, and this is your weekly update from Dr. Tanya Jenkins, your Executive De Director here at Quest Charter Academy. I would like to give you some updates that will hopefully keep you informed of what's going on here at Quest. We are very, very excited to have you and have your students back at school. It's been a long time coming and yet our first week was very successful. You know by now that our schedule for students is 8.30 to 2, Monday through Friday. Lunch is from 12 to 12.30 and we have the delivery set up to be on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and each delivery holds two days worth of food and those deliveries are coming to the bus stops of where your children would usually get on on for their pickups and drop-offs for school and those uh, deliveries for lunches on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays are at 2 30 if you are still interested in getting your child signed up for those lunches you can see here on the screen that you need to to please notify Miss Carmen Luft at questpeoria.com org to sign up you do have to be signed up in order for your students to receive those lunches um, we also have lunches being handed out at both schools so if your students don't get to the bus stop and coming to the school is actually better for you then parents by all means let your students come up to the school and starting at 2 30 to 3 30 they can pick those two-day lunches up right at your school also, parents, we have tutoring going on Monday through Friday from 2 to 3.30. Doesn't get any better than that. If your student is struggling in classes and has things that they need to ask the teacher or they need more clarification or they just need that extra hand, then please have them go to their teacher that they're having that need from and get that tutoring from 2 to 3.30. And then office hours are from 3.30 to 4. So that means parents, if you have questions of teachers that you actually want to go to their link and see them personally and have a question or get some clarification, 3.30 to 4, Monday through Friday, is available for you to, to meet with teachers during their office hours. We do ask that parents, you do not ask teachers questions while they are teaching. That is very distracting for the other students in the class and for the teacher. So if you have questions, uh, if you happen to be watching while your child is receiving instruction from 8.30 until 2, please wait until those office hours and come on and ask those questions then. We also have credit recovery happening for um, our high school students who need to pick up some credits. Please make sure that you uh, Note that those times for credit recovery are from 2 until at least 7 o'clock at night. Now that means a lot of time can be spent on getting those recovery, credit recovery rather classes covered. And what we want to uh, make sure is that all students are getting a course finished within a nine-week period. Parents, that's very important. If they are trying to recover credit for a class, they need to make that commitment to go on at least two to three times a week to get that class finished. We want to encourage you to support your students in doing that. And I have included uh, Marie Moss's email here. It's moss at questpeoria.org. You can go into her link, you can email her, and she will help you to get your students' credit recovery classes up and running if you have not already talked with the counselors and made that happen. We have plenty of supports available. We want to make sure that you've got all of the information that you need. So here on this screen, which you can go back and take a look at, you are seeing, seeing all of the support numbers that could possibly support you in getting your questions and answers that you need. 
So I have started off with just the school's phone numbers, which um, some of our new parents may need. And then you also have your students' uh, principals' emails listed there, just in case you didn't know, again, for our new parents. Shatay Green is the principal at the middle school, and Miss Robin McCracken is the principal at the high school. So either one of those professionals will be able to uh, help you with any questions that you may need. You can also email your student's teacher, and all of our emails here at Quest are our last names at questpeoria.org. Very rarely do you see another initial needed, but your students know their teachers and they know how to get to those emails, so don't let them tell you that they don't know. I also included your students' counselors' uh, email addresses, and Dennis Dwyer is the counselor at the middle school, and then you have Felicia Brown and Celia Hightower are the two counselors at the high school. And as your executive director, I also place my email there. Please feel free to email any of us if you have any supports that you need. Let us know about it, please, please, please let us know about it. Next, you see uh, technology. One of the things that you know is that we are very much a technology school and students need to understand how to get in and out of their Chromebooks. So we know that by now all students should have those Chromebooks. They should have all their logins and you should be good to go. So if you do not, as of yet, have your Chromebook, you need to get to the high school and get to our IT director who is here to support technology needs on Mondays and Thursdays from 9 to 11. Now families, you know you are able to use your personal devices, but that doesn't allow teachers to run all platforms on those personal devices. So you really need to have the Chromebook, which we load all of the platforms on that we use here at Quest. We also have Jetpacks uh, available for those of you that need those to get the Wi-Fi. You do have to fill out a Jetpack form and you see that the information is there for you for getting that form. It's jetpack.questpeoria.org. You fill out that form and then our director will be in touch with you to make sure that you get those jetpacks if you are still in need of those. Also, we have a device rental of $100 for the year. Um, all of our new parents, you've taken care of that information uh, and that uh, rental fee for us when you came on board and got your devices. All of our students that are returning, that does need to be paid by this Friday. It does need to be paid by this Friday in order for those devices to still work. So please, please get with your um, principals, get with Carmen Luft, uh, and get those payments taken care of. So there's no interruption in your child's rent uh, Chromebook accessibility. Um, our IT director, again, I want to make sure you're clear about that. Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays are when he is here at the high school making sure that any parents that need support or students that have issues that they're not able to work out through uh, their teachers, they, you are able to just come to the school here at the high school from 9 to 11 and our IT director is here, uh, come to the gym doors, and he will let you in. You do not need an appointment, but you do need to wear a mask. You do need to wear a mask. So hopefully you take advantage of any needs that you have with our IT director. We have some expectations, and we've had many parent meetings that we've talked about these expectations, but I did want to go through a couple of these again just to make sure that that first week went uh, fairly well. We talked to teachers. Uh, talk to our administrators and they've been uh, popping in and out of those classrooms to see how things are going. But we've had a few little struggles and so I'm adding this uh, to the slide. Um, we are expecting students to attend every day. We, we had a week last week, which was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and that means that Tuesday and Thursday of last week was, those were B-days. Now this week, we start off with B-day. Okay, we start off with the B day. So today is a B day, tomorrow is an A day. So parents, I would suggest to you that you get a calendar and you mark those calendars so students know which week they're in and they know which class links to follow and that they don't get confused. Because it's very important that you understand that this, we are back 
in regular classes, making sure that teaching and learning is of the utmost importance. And if your child is not attending classes, they would be in uh, dire straits to try to get everything that they need to be able to meet those exit expectations for the grade level. So it is up to uh, students to get to class every day and parents we hope you are supporting that they get to class every day because those absences are going to push them into some recovery situations and summer school and we don't want to do that so please please make sure your students are attending every single day we are also asking that you have uh, the expectation of your students as we do that those cameras are on and that they dress for class nobody should be showing up to class with uh, things on their head pajamas food in front of them that is not acceptable okay we have to come to class they should have their breakfast prior to 8 30 they should be on camera ready to go starting at 8 30 and they should be dressed ready for class what does that mean that means that they should have on their quest shirt they should look ready to learn okay so no one should be coming to class in things that they could not come to school in we need your support with that parents also assignments need to be submitted on time no late work there is no excuse for late work we have classes ending at 2 we have tutoring going from 2 to 3 30 your students have plenty of time uh, after that 3.30 time to still do their homework. Chromebooks are left on until uh, after dinner. And so you have time for students to get their homework done. We are not going to be taking late work. So please help your students understand it is very important that they take this seriously and they keep up with their classwork on a daily basis. You have supports that we mentioned uh, and those supports include your teachers, your administrators, your executive director. We have home liaisons that will come to the house if you need things. You can come to the school if you need to, to turn in uh, rental fees, to check on textbooks, to check on Chromebooks. So all the supports that you needed are in place and there should be no reasons why we are not seeing success from every single student. And again, students should start wearing masks to get used to them. I'm saying that out loud because we do not plan on being on this remote plan for the year. We just are doing this for the time period to make sure that we are safe, but you probably now need to start getting your students used to wearing their masks for at least a couple hours a day because I'm gonna tell you when you come back to school and you have to be here from 8.30 until 3.30 or 8.30 till 2.30 and they've not been used to wearing a mask it's going to be very uncomfortable for them. So please, parents, support this by getting those masks and having your students to start to wear them uh, on a daily basis, at least for a couple of hours a day. One of the things that we hope is that you've had a great summer, that your time now is to start back focusing on teaching and learning. That's what we're doing. It's all about the teaching and all about the learning. We want to have a great school year. We want everyone to remain safe so that we can get back to the building very soon. And again, I'm pushing that we should be wearing our masks for periods of the day so that students are very comfortable with that. And again, pushing that if your students needs, needs lunches, that you get those lunch forms filled out and you let us know how you want lunches to be um, delivered for your student and your family. Let us know what we can do to help. Let us know what we can do to support. And again, welcome back to 2020-21. Have a great week.